Yo, what's going on guys? Fishy Jersey here, back with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about an incident that happened a few days ago, or a few nights ago, I should say. So, if you didn't watch my last video, I did talk about my anemone getting caught in the wave maker, and that was super unfortunate, but luckily, um, the anemone was able to get itself out, and then it healed really fast, and it looked perfect, pretty much. Um, well, a couple of days after that, it found a spot in the middle of the tank to, to settle down, and I, and I thought, okay, cool. Um, maybe this is the, the final spot it's gonna settle down and be comfortable in. Well, it was there for like a couple, maybe three days without moving. I was like, all right, cool, this is probably the spot. Well, one night, I get home late, and I check my tank before I go to sleep, like I always do, and I see this floating little like thing, like just around the sand, on the sand bed. I'm like, what is that? That's not a coral, it's not a fish. And I don't see my anemone anywhere. I'm like, great. So I immediately look at the wave maker and I kid you not, it's just, it's like just caught and jammed in the wave maker, just getting literally like torn up by the wave maker. And I'm just like, no, like this thing's dead. There's no way I can save this. Um, there's no way because last time, the first time when it got stuck, the foot of the anemone was still stuck to the glass. So it was able to get itself out. Or this time, th this, the whole anemone was just in the wave maker getting chopped up. And there was already like floating pieces and it, it was dead, completely dead. So I was like, wow, like this is how the anemone has to die. After like all these years I've had it and it's been doing so well. All, the, all that time, I was like, this is the way it has to go out. So it was sad, I was like, man, I don't know, I really like that anemone. So what I had to do was I shut, up the, I shut off the wave maker, I took the pieces out of the tank um, that were floating around, I took the anemone out of the wave maker, and um, the, the water was pretty murky, and I was reading that, you know, toxins can release from the, the anemone if they die in your tank and that could um, cause like a huge ammonia spike and it can uh, damage corals and all that. So I was like, great, like what should I do? And the fish store in my city, I only have one, um, two, two out of the three closed, so I only have one left in my city and it's only open on Wednesdays for like four hours. And um, uh, so this was like on a Saturday, I think, yeah, like a Saturday or like Friday or something. And um, I was like, I was like, great, like what am I gonna do? I need to do a water change immediately. Well, I ended up having two extra gallons that I had left from my previous water, water change. So I had two gallons of salt water. And um, so what I did was I did like a mini two gallon water change with what I had, um, with the leftover water I had. So I took out two gallons of the tank and put two fresh, um, or not fresh, but two gallons of salt water to replace it. And um, so far so good, like nothing, no corals are stressed, the fish are doing good, everything's doing good right now. Um, except I just don't have an anemone anymore. So it just really sucks that uh, that had to happen, but um, I guess it is what it is. Just, you always run into problems in this hobby, nothing ever goes perfect. There's always issues and you learn from every single one of them. So. Now what I want to do is um, I'm going to do a water change this Wednesday in a couple days or tomorrow actually and then um, I want to start getting corals for the tank like I, I made my new aquascape and I want to start filling up the rock work with corals making my tank look nice and color colorful because I've been it's been so long since I've had a tank filled with corals um, but now I guess since the anemone is gone and it's not moving around the tank I guess that um, allows me to um, start getting corals and fill up the tank and um, hopefully I can get my tank going and it can start looking really nice in the near future. So I just wanted to make an update for you guys. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave it down below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button because it does help out. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. So until next time guys, peace out.